Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about percentages. So we're going to look at three different problems. So let's read through these. Out of 200 students, 10 had a cleft chin. What percent of students had a cleft chin? Well, for percentages, we want to use this system. We want to put the part over the whole. So the part of the group versus the whole group and set that equal to your percent over 100. So this system is part over whole equals percent over 100 and then we can cross multiply because we have a proportion. So let's, let's go back and see if we can figure out our part in our whole from the word problem. Out of 200 students, 10 had a cleft chin. So our total is 200. So that's the whole. That's the whole group of students. 10 is the part. So that's going to equal our percentage. We don't know our percent. So we're going to call that x. And then, of course, we have out of 100 because a percent is always out of per 100. Now let's cross multiply. So we have 10 times 100. So 10 times 100. Well, that gives us 1,000. And that's going to equal the other cross product, which is 200 times x, or just 200x. Now to solve for x, we have to say 200 times what gives us 1,000, or we can just divide because this is multiplication, the inverse is to divide. So let's divide by 2,000. So let's grab our calculator and take 1,000, whoops, 1,000 divided by 200. And that gives us five. So that means x, is 5%. So that means 5% of our students have a cleft chin. So there's our first one. Let's look at the second one. The bag contains 75 marbles. So I can already identify what my total is going to be or what the whole is going to be. I have 75 marbles, so that's my whole. 10 marbles are black. 15 are green, and 50 are red. What percent of the marbles are red? Okay, so again, let's go back to the part over the whole and see if we can figure that out. Well, what is the question asking? What percent of the marbles are red? So what are the red marbles? We have 50 that are red, so 50 is my part. And we identified in the very first sentence, the bag contains 75 marbles. That means 75 is my whole. And that's going to always equal percent, which we don't know, out of 100. So here is the equation we're working with. And again, we've got a proportion, so we can just cross multiply. 75 times x is just 75 x. 50 times 100, that's my other cross product. Well, 50 times 100, it's 5,000 5, is equal to 75 times x. To undo multiplication, we're going to divide by 75 because you always want to get the x by itself. So let's take 5,000 divided by 75. And that gives us 66.66 repeating, which would be 66.67%. So that's the number of what? Red marbles. So when you're doing word problems, you always want to add some meaning to our word problem by adding some kind of units. Let's look at the third one. 
The class tosses the basketball 60 times. 40 students caught the basketball with their right hand and 20 students caught the ball with their left hand. What percent caught the ball with their left hand? So the question is asking me the percentage of lefties or left-handed catchers. So that's the part I want. So remember, we're going back to part to whole, and you're gonna look at the question to figure out exactly which part we're looking for. Well, how many of our students caught it left-handed? 20 students caught the ball with their left hand. So 20 were left-handed, so that's my part. What's the whole? What were the total number of students, or number of tosses, I should say? The class tossed the basketball 60 times. So 60 is the number of tosses. And that's always equal to my x over 100, because it's part over whole equals percent over 100. Now let's cross multiply. 60x is equal to 20 times 100. Well, that's gonna give me 2,000. So 60 times x is equal to 2,000. To get the x by itself, we divide both sides by 60. So let's grab our calculator and take the numerator, which is 2,000, and divide it by 60. So that means x is 33.33%. Well, that's my percentage, but what does that represent? Go back to the question. It's the students who caught the ball with their left hand. So students who caught the ball left-handed. or with their left hand. There we go. And there were three good problems. Setting up part to whole is equal to X over 100 or percent over 100. Again, you set that up, you cross multiply, you divide by your coefficient and boom, you have your answer. Hope this video was helpful.